to do all three with a free consultation at 800-508-6108. That's 800-508-6108. All investments involve risk, including losses. Past performance does not guarantee future results. All right, Jason Horowitz back with you here in our Westwood One Studios, 45-37, Texas leading Miami. Halftime of the Midwest Regional Final. Winner goes on to take on UConn in the Final Four in Houston. The women's tournament has reached the Elite Eight as well with the winners going to Dallas for the Final Four. You'll get all of that right here on many of these same Westwood One stations. So our coverage continues with the women's tournament, including the next game to go, the first of the Elite Eight. Ninth-seeded Miami taking on third-seeded LSU and Coach Meyer for the Hurricanes, what they have to do to upset Angel Reese and the Tigers. We have to protect the paint and we have to rebound and then we have to take Miami shots. We can't surprise each other with the shots that we take and it has to be a Miami shot. If it's a Miami shot, we can defend it. We're fine. If it's not a Miami shot, it's going to be an LSU layup. Yeah, Katie Meyer's team has knocked off some big ones to get to this point. Indiana and Bloomington nation's leading scorer Matty Seegers and Villanova can they knock off LSU and Kim Mulkey to reach their first final four 645 Eastern coverage gets going we'll have that for you on some of these same Westwood one stations when we're done with Miami and Texas but you can always listen on the March Madness basketball app the varsity network app or Westwood one sports.com also later on tonight it is Iowa and Louisville from Seattle that gets going around nine Eastern at the half Texas leading Miami 45 37 in Kansas City from the Westwood One NCAA Radio Network, this is the Men's Basketball Tournament. You grew up in Hayes, went to TMP, went to Fort Hayes, and met the love of your life here. To find the ring of her dreams, why not choose Hayes? At Diamond Art Jewelry, Dustin will help you turn her dream ring into a reality. Diamond Art Jewelry works with top designers to ensure the highest quality at the best prices. Diamond Art Jewelry, on the bricks in downtown Hayes. Lamada's Pizza in Hayes has a new featured pizza, and we're showcasing it throughout March. It's the Buffalo Chicken Pizza. Available in all three sizes, the Buffalo Chicken Pizza has garlic buffalo sauce, chicken, cream cheese, and extra mozzarella cheese. Call Lamada's Pizza or download our app and have us deliver one right to your door so you don't miss a second of the basketball tournament. Local, fresh, delicious. Try a Buffalo Chicken Pizza today from Lamada's Pizza, 130 West 9th on the Bricks in downtown Hayes. At Rebath, we believe everyone should have a bathroom they love. That's why we do it all, from fresh tub and shower updates to smart, safe aging and accessibility solutions and complete bathroom remodels. Rebath's turnkey process includes design guidance, quality products, and professional installation. We do it all from design to done. Best of all, you'll be in and out in just a few days, and you'll have a brand new bathroom you'll love for years to come. For special offers and to schedule your free in-home consultation, visit us at rebath.com or call 620-792-2709. That's 620-792-2709. Make your current home the home of your dreams with Rebath. We make remodeling convenient and affordable. And yes, you can bathe in luxury with our incredible variety of state-of-the-art products like jetted tubs and walk-in showers. Well, it is an Elite Eight that doesn't have a one seed for the first time ever, and it's setting up a Final Four with some of the highest seeds ever. San Diego State, Florida Atlantic, UConn, and either Texas or Miami. Longhorns up by eight at the half. Doug, who's going to be the fourth team to get there? I think it's going to be Texas. Um, I'm, I'm really impressed. Brock Cunningham's doing an incredible job coming off, off the bench. And, and at times, you know, guarding a center, I think they just have more lineup versatility they have a little bit better toughness and cohesiveness defensively. Not quite the shot making and, and the spurts, but I think if they can put together a run and get Miami down double digits, I think Miami may shoot themselves out of this thing. Remember, it was a bad second half that got Miami last year against Kansas. Yeah, they ended up getting blown out by the Jayhawks. You can't shoot 64% for an entire game, can you? I don't know. That's what they shot in the first half. We'll find out.